Hey guys, how's it going? So um, today we are going to be looking at section 1.4. All right, so we're going to, and this is actually a continuation of 1.3, basically, because in 1.3 we actually went ahead and looked at how to solve uh, equations, but now we're actually going to be looking at how to solve multi-step equations. So same thing as last time, except for this time, it might require a few more steps. So just to remember what we did before, let's go ahead and write a few things down. So it says, when solving linear equations, you must, well, what do we have to do? We have to use inverse order of operations. Okay, and remember guys, inverse meant what? That meant opposite operation. So we're going to do the opposite of what we're used to, which is PEMDAS. But we're, since it's the opposite, we actually have to use SADMAP. Okay. So again, subtraction, addition, division, multiplication, exponents, and parentheses. So the whole goal there is to try to get the variable all by itself to isolate the variable okay so it says next thing sometimes you will need to simplify each side of an equation before you begin to solve so what does that mean well let me give you guys a quick example so let's say we had something like this 3 plus 2x minus 7 equals 6 so let's pretend for a second we have that Okay, now before we can actually start using SADMAP, we have to combine a few like terms here. So, do you guys see any like terms on the left side of the equal sign? Well, yeah, we have these two. Okay, we have to combine those first. So, 3 minus 7, that's a negative 4. I'm going to drop that plus 2x down equals 6. Now, again, on the left side of the equal sign, I have negative 4 plus 2x. Those are not like terms. I cannot combine those. And on the right side, I only have that x. I'm sorry, that 6. So I can't combine that with anything. So now is when I can go ahead and start solving using inverse order of operations or SADMAP. So again, I have this negative 4 out here, which means we're going to have to do the opposite of a negative 4, which means we're going to have to add 4. And we also have a multiplication here. So which one comes first? The subtraction and addition or division and multiplication? Subtraction and addition. So I'm going to add 4 to both sides. Those go away. I'm actually going to go ahead and work up here. I'm going to get 2x equals 6 plus 4 is just 10. Now we can get rid of that 2. So the inverse operation of dividing, I'm sorry, of multiplying by 2 is dividing by so I have my final answer, x equals 5. So just as a side note for you guys here, I'm going to write combine like terms on each, keyword there, each side of the equal sign. before using SADMAP. Whoops, let me actually rewrite that. Before using, whoops, there we go. So, combine like terms on each of the side each side of the equal signs before using SADMAP. Okay guys? So that's something very key that you have to remember to do before you start using SADMAP. Alright, let's take a look at a few of these example problems and see if we can solve them together. Alright. So it says solve the following linear equation. So we have negative 8x minus 1 equals 15. Now we have multiplication between the negative 8 and the x and we also have a subtraction of 1. Which one comes first? Subtraction. So I'm going to have to add 1 to both sides. We get negative 8x equals 16. 
Now the inverse operation of multiplying by negative 8 is divided by negative 8. Those two go away. I get x equals positive 16 divided by negative 8 is a negative 2. All right. So let's keep going. Next one. Negative 7 equals w divided by 4 plus 3. Now, again, just like in the previous example, there's nothing to combine on either side of the equal sign here. Can't combine anything on the left because it's just a negative 7, and you can't combine anything on the right. So we can go straight to order of operations. I'm sorry, reverse order of operations, which would be sad math. All right? So I have division by 4 and addition of 3. If we follow sad map, we have to get rid of the 3 first. So we get negative 10 equals w divided by 4. Opposite of dividing by 4 is multiplying by 4. So what do I get? These two cross out. I'm left with w equals 4 times negative 10 is a negative 40. All right. Cool. Let's keep going. I'm going to do one more with you guys, and I'm going to have you guys try out number four on your own. So let's go ahead and see. Can I combine like terms on either side of the equal sign? Well, on the right side, I only have the 10, so I can't combine anything there. And on the left side, I have something with a variable term and something that's just a constant, so I cannot combine any of those. So I can jump straight to uh, sad map. So let's go ahead and see. I have division of a negative 5 or addition of a 6. Following sad map, get rid of the 6 first. Okay, so we get negative 2. That's y equals negative, I'm sorry, positive 4. Now, again, just like last time, I don't know if you guys remember from section 1.3, <clears throat> I said you can do this in one of two ways. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you can actually do it all in one step, or you can get rid of that 5 first and then the negative 2. Whichever way you want to do it, but for now, I'm going to actually go ahead and get rid of the 5 first. So division of 5 means I have to multiply 5. And cancel those out. I get negative 2y equals 4 times 5 is 20. Now I can get rid of the negative 2. So I get negative 10. Now, you guys might be asking yourselves, well, why did you get rid of the 5 first and then get rid of the negative 2? Well, because multiplication and division, they hold the same value, right? If you guys notice in sad map here, right up here, guys, um, let me go ahead and highlight it for you. It's division and multiplication. Okay, so they're in this. They're stuck together. They have. They hold the same value. You actually have to do subtraction and addition first, then division and multiplication, and then exponent and parentheses. So whichever order you you want to do those in, that's totally fine, as long as both of them are division and multiplication. Okay. All right. So let's continue. Number four. Now, I said I wanted you guys to try this one on your own, so why don't you guys go ahead and pause the video for now and give that one a try. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and look at this problem. Now, there's something going on here that maybe is a little different of, from the problems that we've been doing before. We have 4 minus x equals negative 9. Now, the goal with SADMAP, first off, is to get the x by itself. So if I add an x to both sides, because that's the only operation I see, that's totally fine. We can do it, but the whole goal is to get the x by itself. Okay, so I actually want to get rid of that 4, which in this case is a positive 4. Okay, so how do you get rid of a positive 4? You have to, whoops, you have to subtract 4. So I get negative x equals negative 13. I don't want a negative x. I want a positive x. So I'm going to have to divide by a negative 1. Remember, there's always a negative 1 in front of the x if it's just a negative x. All right, now I can get rid of these two. I get x equals 13. 
as my final answer. Okay, guys. Now, what I haven't told you guys yet is that you can actually go in and substitute all these values that you just found to verify that this in fact works. Okay. Now, what does that mean? Well, let's go ahead and try it out. Here I had 4 minus x, but I know x now is 13. So I'm going to write it. So 4 minus 13 equals negative 9. Now, if we did our work correct, then both sides of, these, of the equal sign should have the same thing. What is 4 minus 13? That's a negative 9. And on the other side, I have a negative 9. So are those two exactly the same? Yes, they are. So that checks out. So I know for a fact this has to be the correct answer. Now, if you want, you can go ahead and try for 1, 2, 3 to verify that your answers, in fact, work. Okay? Well, for now, let's go ahead and continue because we need to tackle something a little bit more challenging. All right. Now, remember, guys, as we tackle these next few problems, remember, we have to try to combine any like terms first on either side of the equal sign, and then we can use sad map. All right? So, keeping that in mind now, let's take a look at number five. So it says 7m minus 3.2m equals 26.6. .6. Well, right off the bat, I can see that on the left side, these two terms are both like terms. All right, so I can do 7m minus 3.2m, which gives me 3.8m equals 26.6. .6. There's nothing else I can combine here. So I can move to using SADMAP. So between the 3.8 and the m, there's multiplication. So I'm going to divide. And I get m equals, and I'll give you guys a chance to try that out on your calculator. But you should get m equals 7 for your final answer. Again, if you wanted to try this out, you can go ahead and substitute that back into those values. But for now, let's go ahead and keep going. All right. So for number six, same thing. Check to see if you can combine any like terms first. Well, on the left side, I have a negative 2, so I can't combine that with anything. But on the right side of the equal sign, I have a 5x and a negative 15x. I also have that 8, but that 8 doesn't combine with anything. So I'm just going to combine anything that has an x term. So I get negative 2 equals 5x minus 15x is a negative 10x. And then I drop my positive 8. Now, there's nothing else in the way, or nothing else I can combine, so I can go ahead and start using SADMAP. So we have multiplication going on and addition. Which do we get rid of first? The 8. So I get negative 10 equals negative 10x. The inverse operation here, which is division. Negative divided by negative is a positive, and 10 divided by 10 is just 1. So my final answer is x equals 1. All right, so again, very similar to yesterday, except for we have to remember to combine like terms first, then go ahead and start using SADMAP. All right, so next one, before I let you try one on your own, let's see, 2.7 plus 6y minus 3.8 equals negative 1.5. Well, on this right-hand side, I can't combine that negative 1.5 with anything because it's all by itself. But on the left side, I can definitely combine those two because they're both constants. Remember, constants are just numbers that do, don't have a variable attached to them. All right, so let's go ahead and add them up, or actually, in this case, subtract them. What's 2.7 minus 3.8? That's actually... And I'm actually going to write the y first, so my 6y, I'm going to drop that down. And then the 2.7 minus 3.8, that's just a negative 1.1 equals negative 1.5. All right. Now I don't have the ability to combine anything else, so I go straight to SADMAP. I have multiplication and subtraction, so I'm going to go ahead and... 
get rid of that negative 1.1 by adding 1.1 to both sides. All right, so what do I get? I get 6y equals negative 1.5 plus 1.1 is negative 0.4. All right, now I can divide this by 6. I get y equals, and again, go ahead and try that on your calculator. And you should get y equals negative 0.06. All right, good. All right, what I want you guys to do is pause the video for a second, and I want you guys to try out number eight on your own. All right, go ahead and pause the video and try that one out. All right, guys, let's go ahead and solve this next problem now right away i see that on the left side i can combine a few things all right so i can combine this let me go back to my pen tool i can combine this negative seven and this negative three to get negative 10 plus x equals negative six okay so once again my goal here is to get the x by itself so the only thing in the way is that negative 10. So again, what's the opposite of a negative 10? It's a positive 10. So I have to add 10 to both sides. All right. So let's go away. I get x equals negative 6 plus 10 is just a positive 4. All right. So. I just wanted to clarify something here, guys, um, on this previous problem, number seven. You can take a quick look at that one again. I actually rounded, or I didn't round enough. Uh, I forgot that last digit. In this case, we didn't have any particular directions to round to the nearest hundredth, so I'm actually going to round to the nearest thousand. So this is, should be your final answer. Okay. And actually, I don't even know why this is here. All right, next one um, is a little bit more challenging, but same scenario, guys. We're solving, and we have to make use of distribution, which we did in the first few sections of this chapter. So right away, I see that we can distribute a negative 3. I'm going to go ahead and distribute that into both of those terms. I get negative 54 equals negative 6 minus 12x all right well can i combine anything on the left side no it's all by itself anything on the right side well negative 6 is not a like term with 12x they, they both don't have an x so i can't combine anything i can now jump to inverse order of operations or sad map so i have a minus 6 or a negative 6 here and i also have a negative 12 times x okay now which one do i get rid of first that negative six so let's add six to both sides i get negative 48 equals 12x inverse of multiplication by negative 12 is dividing by negative 12 and i get x equals a positive four so that one just added an extra step our multi-step solving of the equations by distributing. So we're going to have to do the same thing on this next problem because right away you see that you have a parentheses. So let's go ahead and distribute our negative one-third to both those terms. So I get negative 27 equals. Well, negative one-third times three is just a negative one. Okay. If you have your calculator, go ahead and type that in. If not, just remember... What's one-third of three? Well, that's just one, but it's a negative, so it's a negative one. Same thing here. One-third of six is actually two, but because, and let me go ahead and erase that, because it's a negative one-third, I'm going to have to do minus two x. All right, so just like before, can I combine any like terms? Nope. 
So I have to go to sad map. First thing I get rid of is this one. So I get negative 26 equals negative 2x. Get rid of the negative 2 by dividing by negative 2. So my final answer is a positive 13. Remember, guys, dividing two negatives gives you a positive. All right, so we get x equals 13 for our final answer. All right, so today was a little bit of a short day for notes, but uh, I'm glad you guys had a chance to practice a little bit more with multi-step equations. And for the next section, we're going to be looking at 1.5. All right, guys, have a good one.